afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we will share to you about the Holy Eucharist. We're in water pools. Okay, uh, Holy Eucharist is also called the uh, Body of Christ or the Holy Communion. Uh, how did it happen to be like that? Too many people in the world, in the world, especially in the old days, uh, they left Jesus Christ. They no longer follow him because of the Holy Eucharist. And he said, with the bread and wine, he said, this is my body, this is my blood. Okay. Too many, too many people left him and unfollowed him. I will explain to you today why um, it has to be followed. You know, ever since uh, uh, we broke off in the Garden of Eden by disobeying the Word of God, Okay. Remember that one in the garden, God said to Adam and Eve, Thou shalt not eat of the fruit. Okay, the fruit, remember this one, of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That is the problem. When you eat of it, you shall surely die. And it did happen. So uh, we believe that the Word of God transforms people, people transforms our lives. And also, it is alive and it changes us. So that when the Word of God said, do not do it and you do it, that means you defy Him and you disobey His words. That kind of disobedience disconnects a person from God. And that is where the problem from before. And so we have to come to the point now where we have to be renewed and being being a person in the old, uh, there is no life that goes with it. Although we are alive, but we are alive in the sense, but we are disconnected from our God, from our Creator, who said that I, He created us by uh, means of His um, image and likeness. Okay, so that was then. So now, <clears throat> God the Father sent us a rescue. He put His Son on a rescue mission to save us, to bring us back to Himself. This is where the Holy Eucharist came, came in. There are lots of references in the Scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and you can read from the book of uh, uh, John chapter 6, 51 onwards, Jesus Christ is speaking about His body. Okay, so, if you do not take this body of Christ, you've got no life in you, okay? John 6.51 to John 6.53, alright? Well, gun killers, gun killers. We are therefore in a situation where we have to become like the body of Christ by taking the body of Christ, by believing in it, okay? According to our faith in Christ, we shall live. But when we have faith in Christ, we have to also follow what He is telling us to do. Because of that situation, He has to wash our blood. Remember the washing and the generation, the baptism and <clears throat> and, um, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Word of God is a spirit and the Holy Ghost is a spirit. If you don't believe it, you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you don't believe in the Holy Spirit. How did that happen to be like that? Because we have to take the body of Christ, the body and blood or the bread and wine in, in context of substantiation to which uh, Jesus Christ's Word transform it into His body and blood. In that sense, we will be removed from the curse of the of, uh, of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Remember that one? So that if we become Christ, as we live in this world, we have to take the body of Christ, which is the bread and wine originally. Now it's transformed into his own body and blood by his word. Okay, by his word, not nobody's words. Okay, so when he was preaching this one in Israel, too many people or shall I say, too many of his disciples left him. And he asked Peter, what about you two? Are you also going to leave us? Peter said, whom shall we go? You have the word of eternal life. Just remember this one. Peter, he said, it is not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Okay? So then, therefore, he appointed Peter to be the head of the church because Peter is the one that God revealed to about Christ himself, his son. 
and people who understand and believe and accept Jesus Christ then they have faith in him and that faith in him carries by becoming like Christ other than uh, from the old that we became like the serpent we became the bad you know so to say we became the bad because we follow the bad we eat the fruit of the good and the bad remember of the tree of knowledge of gold and evil remember that one okay so that was forbidden to be eaten and because Jesus Christ came on the day he was betrayed that is after all his work that he trained every one of them before the day he died already already we already back from the beginning of the of the teaching of Jesus Christ at the age of 33 and he was teaching for three and a half years at the end of this period Jesus Christ then said that um, on the, this is on the day he was betrayed on 1st Corinthians chapter 11 he took bread he said this is my body he broke it give thanks to God this is my body he said take it all of you after after supper then he took the chalice of wine the wine and he said this is my blood from the wine he transformed it into his blood that is his word it's not symbolic this, is, this, one, this one is taken as literal things because the word of Jesus Christ transforms, it changes things, it makes things happen. It's like in the word to say that God said, let there be light and there was light. And then God said, let there be firmament between heaven and earth. And there was a big distance between it. And so there was it, the creation of the word in six days, everything was given by the word. And the word transformed everything according to what the word has said. And so in this context of the transubstantiation, my brothers and sisters, the turning of the bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ. Everyone that wants to believe in Christ or wants to be taken off from that curse of the old disobedience in the Garden of Eden has to take the Holy Eucharist or partake in the Holy Eucharist because of the three things. We have to be baptized. We have to receive the Holy Communion. And we have to be confirmed. Amen. Baptism into the death of Christ so that we will be taken away from the sin of the generations okay in the past since and then we have the holy communion to be partake into the body and blood of christ that he gave it to us otherwise the, the fruit of the tree will still be in us contaminating our blood system by means of the holy communion that contamination is being removed we are being replenished with a new blood we are being renewed every day because we are in communion now with christ not with the devil anymore Okay, and then we have the confirmation which is giving all the strength, the teaching, the paraclete, the, the helper who comes to help us, strengthens us, opens our minds and hearts in order to understand the ways of God, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is why the Holy Eucharist is very important. If you do not take the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Eucharist or Jesus Christ said in John 6, He said, if you do not take the bread and wine or my, the body and blood, my body and blood, you got no life in you. Amen. This word is powerful word. You cannot defeat this word. You cannot change it. You cannot disobey it. Like in the past, if you disobey, you will remain in the Garden of Eden. If you obey now, you will be cleansed. You will be purified of your thoughts, your minds, and your contamination of that old sin will be removed from you. And this is now your freedom to take the body and blood of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Eucharist makes us one with Christ and eventually as we live and continue to live in the Holy Spirit it makes us walk like Christ and to this word my brothers and sisters if you hear the Word of God do not harden your heart but believe and you will be saved Amen. Thank you, brothers. and this one is very important the Holy Eucharist is only given or administered to you by the priest because they are called to do so no one else is called in the scriptures uh, read the whole Hebrews the priest is the only one allowed are the only one allowed in the church if you are outside the church you cannot have another priest to distribute the Holy Eucharist because that will be an occultism okay you, you have to understand uh, theology. you have to study theology or apologetics to understand this what it is but it's, it's so simple only have to believe and you will be saved brothers and sisters okay the body and blood of Christ 
shall be taken by each one accept Jesus Christ and believe him, the one who died for us. He will become our Lord and Savior. We will become his bodies and we will continue to live and walk for the glory of God like Christ. Amen. God bless you. See you again next time. Bye bye. How do you see finish?